don't get too excited. There's probably no jerky left if you're watching this video, but I wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes look of what it's like on drop night over at Beefcake Jerky. So for those of you guys that don't know, this is the warehouse. So all these bundles are pre-packed and ready to ship to you guys. But by the time you're watching this, they're probably already shipped out. But we just went live with the website and so far we've been selling out of everything really fast. The first drop, I think we sold out in like 13 minutes. The second drop, I think was 20 minutes. Now we've ordered way more jerky. Like I'm talking way more jerky this time. Semi loads of jerky. So I'm gonna go back in the office and we got all the boys here and give you guys an update and uh, let you guys know how many people are on the website, how many orders we've got, and is anything sold out? You guys stay tuned. So this, for those of you guys who don't know, this is like the live tracker. So this is you guys, okay? Does that mean we're here? Is that what I think that means? So we're here. So you guys are all these glowing little mechanisms, okay? So this is you guys ordering right now. So people on the website right now, and that's how many people have been on the website since we went live, and that's how many orders that have been done. And Banjo, are we? Oh yeah. Hey, how's it going? What are we out of? We sold out of honey barbecue in four minutes. We had a lot of that. So we had a we had a semi, yeah. a literal semi. She's gone in four minutes. How are we gonna do this? We can't order. We I got to order two semis now. But well, we want to show you guys this. Big Dallas guys, okay. Big Chicago guys. Big Minneapolis guys. First timers and returning. Pretty close. You got fifteen hundred versus nine eighty two. But you can see this is oh oh what happened, Banjo? What Banjo? What did you do? Did you close the what? What what are we doing right now? Why did it go down? People you probably people checked out. The orders go up. Oh, the oh, oh, okay. So I need to, oh, no, it's still going down. We're, we're losing people, Banjo. We're going down. The ship is sinking, Banjo. This is, oh, so they just came for the honey barbecue and they quit. Yeah, big honey barbecue. You better be, you gotta be faster than that. So you guys are watching it, the next drop we have, you gotta be faster. The honey barbecue is by far my favorite flavor. I think it's pretty much everybody's favorite flavor. I think it beats our other two flavors. The other two flavors are really good in their own way, but I think it's my all time favorite. So just wanna give you guys a little behind the scenes update. What'd you say, four minutes was pork or was, was honey barbecue? Yeah. What else is sold out? Anything? We're getting close. What about teriyaki? How's teriyaki holding up? Teriyaki, you gotta be close. Teriyaki, man. Low. Teriyaki, is it? A hundred bags left. Really? You guys are big pork guys. I'm a big pork guy. Pork's pretty good. So, anyways, there's your update. Let's get back to the video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That is right, part two of building a in-ground giant hatchery. The reason why we're doing it is because this hatchery looks like a graveyard. Here, this is uh, yeah, we have yet to see anything spawn, and by the hour, they're dying. Okay, um, yeah, throw some food, see if they get we we I'm telling you, we've had them feed trained, but now they don't want to do it. I don't know if they're getting closer to death, and so they don't want to eat, maybe they're eating too much. But we put these in here a few days ago, and they were crushing them. I was like, oh my god, the minnows are trained, they're gonna thrive, and now they're almost all dead. Uh, we don't really know why. We've tested the water, the water seems fine. We have four fizzers, a little shower head stream thing, and that like, how much more aeration do you guys need? How do you guys survive? in the wild if this if you guys can't survive in something like this there's no sun there's no algae issues i know they feed off algae maybe that's why they're dying i don't really know but if you guys missed the first part i suggest you go watch it we dug a hole in the ground we put a tarp in it that's all we did and today we are here to fill it up so we had to go to the store and get some modifications or stuff for modifications because right now we have a well that is filling up the lake uh that you guys saw actually you saw banjo go swimming in there Look at buddy. Yeah. So you saw Banjo swimming in there. I waited in there. It's getting deep, but we need to pause for like a day or two of filling the lake and try to fill the hatchery. The hatchery we built was a 30 by 40, eight foot deep, so just a big, huge hole in the ground that we we lined. We put underlayment and liner. I blew my back out multiple times during that process, but we made. Now we got to go fill it, test the water, you know, make sure it's all healthy, and then we got to get whoever, whatever the the survivors of this. We got to get them out of here because it, at any point now we're, we're gonna end up losing everybody. And are there, yeah, do we, have, do we have a dip net, Banjo? Uh, you getting a dip net? Yeah. Well, so I wanna see how many we got left. Cause there's, I mean, we've probably only scooped out maybe a hundred dead ones and we probably bought a thousand maybe, maybe 500. I mean, I think there's still plenty of live ones, but they're not thriving. They're just, they're surviving and we want them to thrive. And so let's see, see what you get, Banjo. Right here? Potentially. You get all dead ones or what? Ooh, so there's dead on the bottom too. So we're not even seeing all the death is what you're telling me. Ooh, ooh. Are they all dead? This might not be good. That was one hell of a way to just burn a bunch of money. Really? Let me let me get here. Let me give a scoop here. Okay, okay. Few. Two dead ones though. Yeah, there's dead ones on the bottom. So what we see here is not all of them. Oh, God, yeah. But, oh, now they're good. But compared to what we put in, yeah, we gotta get them out of here. So, Operation Fill That Hatchery Pond starts now. 
right, we are down at the hatchery, folks, okay? So, here's the situation. We've got a hole in the ground and pond line. Therefore, it should hold water. We've built some hatcheries in the past. They didn't work because we didn't have liners. We didn't have wells. We fixed that. We have a giant hole here. And if you fall in, you ain't getting back out. This tarp is like 2,000 degrees. I can feel it melting my freaking shoes right now. Ooh. Is that, is that hot? Ah. We'll fry an egg on that son of a yeah. gun. So we use big dog excavator right over there. Dug a nice hole. Like I said, it's about a 30 by 40. And so now it's time for water. Once we fill it, then we'll clean this up. All this extra stuff, we can, we can bury it. You can saw it. You can put some sand over it, grab, it, it'll look nice. This will all be grass. It'll just look like a nice little hole, little pond. So we want to make sure it's plenty deep. That way we can put any species that we want in there. How's that going? I got old Uno reverse. That's the, that's the old, send it the other way. So what we're talking about there is we've got a generator. That thing's gonna run for nine days straight. I'm surprised it hasn't exploded yet, to be honest. We're still filling the lake. Like I said, we don't have, we are permanently, like eventually gonna have water run from that well to there, so we, we don't have, we can share water rather than stealing, but we don't have patience for the well guys to come back. And so I said, let's get a bunch of PVC and fittings and loop-de-doo knots and send the water back this way. So we've got, yeah, we can turn it off. Yeah, we don't wanna get sprayed. So there's your pond, there's your lake. I mean, it's going slowly but surely, and this is where the water comes out. And so we just shut the water off. You can see it's, there it goes. Now it's stopped. So the water's shooting this way and we need it to shoot that away so we've got like i said some pvc fittings that should hopefully be able to go on there see yeah but yeah set that down on there banjo like it like it's gonna be see how it's it shoots and it says jokes on you buddy and we just shoot it back the other direction so we got some sealant and some cement and purple stuff yeah every time we get the purple stuff you know something's gonna go down so we have to basically connect this here to this and that way the water shoots the other way and then when we're done you just unscrew it and then you can continue to refill but to give you guys another pond update obviously our water is a touch on the uh, irony side. I don't I think that's what that is. I'm not really sure. But then the creek comes all the way down here. And we went in this pond the other day. And it's like, I don't know, two and a half, three foot deep. It's like right right up to about here. So it's not terrible. And our creek's not washing out too bad. You got some silt. You can see the silt down there. I mean, that's it's kind of hard to prevent something like that. We do have the blocks and the boulders. We really need more of them. You know, the whole thing they is flow over the rocks. Right now it's flowing around and under the rocks, which kind of defeats the purpose of the rock. So then it, it collapses and if that makes any sense but I mean the water is almost to the other side not deep on the other side but it's almost over there okay and it's starting to seep up into there and seep like this is it looks like the water receded but it didn't it's actually soaking up in there which that's just part of it. it's called soakage you're gonna get some of that soakage the idea is though if the soakage soaks then the water shouldn't should stop soaking therefore you don't lose water and there's no more soaking soak it once and then you're done on a bad pond it just continually soaks and continually leaks and you're screwed and you got to drain it and bent night it and spend another hundred thousand dollars that's what we're trying not to do we are fighting mother nature on this because i really don't want to have to go import clay and bent night and do all that so while that while this work because this is like a i mean this is like a six month ordeal to get this thing full and that's if it holds if it doesn't hold it's going to be even more so while we're farting around with this thing for the next six months you guys will flare what kind of is going to make the next six months and if you can't do nothing that's why we got the hatchery we're gonna start growing some fish we're gonna start freaking breeding well the, we're gonna start breeding fish but the, the fish will breed and we'll watch it. We're not breeding with them. Don't get that look off your face right now. You you heard it right. So now we got that on there. And gives it a few a few screws. And in theory, the water goes and goes out the other way, you know. Okay. So now we got the old lay flat, because it lays flat. That's the whole idea there. So yeah, that's your Uno reverse card. We'll see if we'll see how, how she holds up, if it leaks or not. But I think it should work. The pressure should still be plenty to get it up and over the hill. We shouldn't have a pr problem. We got a 25 gallon uh, a minute pump. So not great. Better than your average garden hose, but not fantastic. So we got one hose here. We gotta go grab a connector. Yeah. They have connectors. So I think we need, I think I measured about 125 and that's to get to the edge. What's going on here? What's going on up there? You see that helicopter? What's that? What's that? Is that Brad? What's he up to? There it is. Looks like a firefighter carrying that sucker around. All right, go over here. It's 112 today, by the way, in case, you're, in case you're just curious what we got going on right now. It's real hot. I think the feds finally figured out we built a pond and didn't tell anybody or no? They, they might have. When's the last time you paid taxes? Who was that? Who's taxes? <laughs> Never heard of her. Keep, Keep her going. Keep, oh yeah, 25 is going to do it, man. I'm calling it right now. All right, go ahead and give her one more connection. Go over and out, through, 
and hopefully into the pond. So we calculated, this thing holds, I had to do like Pythagorean's theorem and stuff, it's crazy. Your teachers in school were like, you might need this one day. And I'm like, in the hell I ain't. And I did, but guess what? I didn't remember it, I Googled it, okay? Remember back in the day? You're never gonna have a calculator in your pocket at all times. You're right, I've got more than a calculator. I've got Google, okay? Woo. How's that, close? Wow. Lying. She is in fact lying there. Yes, that is that is good. Uh, anyways, I'm just I had to do some square There were some square roots. I saw there was the little twos and the little threes um, Whatever them are and I got to a calculation of 45,000 gallons BAM and then 45,000 gallons divided by 25 is a number that I can't remember But then that was how many gallons per minute and then I think I divided that by 60 and that's how many hours and It was 30 that makes sense 30 hours of this thing running continually to fill this thing and that's to fill it to the brim you know, we might leave it about a foot short just to not have any you know issues but go ahead and give her a tug there it is she's rolling boys uh oh we're gonna see the water come here a second it's working on it it over the hill it's got to keep going yeah 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 it's slowly but surely I don't know if we're gonna get quite 25 gallons a minute doing all the ups and downs, so it might take more than 30 hours. Probably two days. I think we'll be in business. Do we? Are we damp? Are we? We're not wet. I just about died. Do you Here see it? Comes. It's coming over the hill. Oh, it's. Oh yeah. It's 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 starting. We're, we're gonna see it here in a second. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. You right, see it? The hatchery now, in fact, has a trickle of water. Look at that, folks. Sheesh. Oh. Oh, huh? Slide down? It. Huh? Slide down. Slide. Yeah, you didn't get in the back, but go for it. God, did you imagine how bad you get burned on that right now? Oh like, I wish I had a temperature gun. I guarantee I could fry an egg on this right now. The coldest swimming pool. Yeah, true. True. So we are now filling it at hopefully 25 gallons a minute. You got 45,000 gallons, 30 hours. That is the plan. We're gonna get her nice and filled up, but yeah, it is nice because she'll be perfectly clean. Uh, you shouldn't have any, you know, minimal algae issues, hopefully, and nice cold, cold, cold water. I mean, it's, it's gotta be ice cold water. That's gonna be good for the fish. They should be able to do their thing. We may end up coming in and putting some sand in the bottom or some type of gravel to give them kind of a harder base to spawn. We'll just kind of have to do some more research and see how that goes. But as of right now, we are filling it up. We're gonna let her get full and then we're gonna go take those minnows and hopefully save them from our temporary hatchery, put them in the full one and uh, hopefully they thrive. You guys stay tuned. Well, it is the next morning. This thing has been filling for approximately about nine hours, no, 19 hours, not nine, 19 hours, and bam! There you go, Banjo. What do you Thanks. think about that? You got, it's about, I'd say given the, you've only got, yeah, I guess you probably got, it's probably about half full then. I'm like, yeah. you probably got maybe three and a half, four foot, plus it gets wider, so like gallons and so, or so. So I think, uh, who is our boy, Pythagorean? I think his theorem was off <laughs> just a touch. His theorem was, made, or my math might have been wrong. I'm not sure Your which cubic one. cubic whatever. My cubic <laughs> square foot that I calculated. So maybe it's like 50 thousand gallons maybe what are you gonna cannonball in oh, when, when it's full yeah really? really or we're not pumping 25 gallons a minute you know yeah. i'm not gonna blame my boy pythagorean he yeah. i think at this point i think he kind of has he knows his thing he's been around the block a few times but well we've got enough water to host fish okay you know the water's not a great color we still need to get some type of filter in here we're gonna hit up trapper jay because he's got a filter like a homemade one that works pretty good for his pond those like little store-bought ones i didn't really have any good luck with it at the old house they just got really gross really fast so i think his was like a depth tank filled with sand and basically bilge pump it into it let it go through and then back out so i'll hit him up the other thing you can do is once the algae starts is you can actually have this blue dye which will help it basically stops the sun from penetrating so far which helps with the algae bloom and grow so there's a few things we're gonna do like i don't it shouldn't always look like this i mean it's not gonna be like a crystal clear swimming pool i, I wouldn't imagine but um I, we also think there's like some dust some residual dust and dirt on the tarp which is probably why it looks like this um, so hopefully it all settles, but I would say it's enough to stop like for sure. There's probably four foot. It's nice and cold, huh? Is it too late to move it? 
Really? You want it over there? Now? You know, I, yeah, I think we're, we're pretty much stuck here whether you like it or not. This is where this thing's gonna be. So we're gonna run up. We gotta go check on our minnows, see how many we lost overnight. Uh, hopefully not too many, fingers crossed. And then we're going to drain our pool hatchery, take the fish from there, transport them into here, and then hopefully they don't die, okay? We'll keep you guys updated. We'll update you tomorrow morning and just, we'll just see if they like it better. I mean, they've got more, I don't know if that's what's killing the minnows. They, more, they need more space. The thing is there's not gonna be a ton of aeration. We don't have any like fountains or aerating pumps or anything for down here. We don't have power down here, so we can't really run anything. But pumping fresh cold water in there, I mean, I feel like that's gotta be worth something. Plus again, they can go nice and deep. You know, the water's gonna be really cold down there. So I, I feel like that's good. In the summer, fish, you don't really want hot water. You want colder water. So that's the plan. We're gonna head up. Now that we know that there's enough water, we are gonna head up to the shop and check on the pool hatchery and see how many minnows we killed last night. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, we are at the shop, folks. It is time to see how many minners got uh, KO'd last night. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't know how many we're gonna it started with, or I don't really know how many we have left. How are we doing? How many did we dead. kill? All dead. of them are dead. Oh my gosh. Dude, we are killing these at just an incredibly impressive rate. What do you, do you think it's the water's not good enough for them? Do you think it's not enough? Well, there's still some. Like, what do you think is killing them? I have no clue. I'm not a, or is this just normal? Is it possible to put too much oxygen in the water? I don't, I feel like it can't. I don't think like, it's how much. in the hell? I'm just like, this is disgusting. We gotta get this out of the shop. Our, our shop smells like a freaking. Well, we're gonna, we gotta pump the water out of this sucker. So we've already got the hose. We just got, well, no, we got the pump. We just need to put a hose on it. We can pump the water out and get it out from under here. What's going on here? Got just, about five. There it is. Started with 2,000, got five left. That was a good investment. Good this is like $700 worth of pumps and aerators and fizzers and uh yeah not a good investment i'm not good at keeping fish alive apparently lucy what do you think i'm not very good at it am i hopefully the big pond is better if the big pond kills them like this i don't know what to tell them like i i gotta i gotta consult them if you're a minnow farmer i, I need to pay you to consult with us because we're absolutely clueless so we're gonna go ahead and screw a screw a hose onto there and that'll help pump the water out and get it nice and and then we do we do have a drain there too so we could potentially oh wait we don't have a hose for that though no so we can't do anything there we'll just bilge it bilge pump it out all right man just screwed on Ready? yeah go ahead yeah go for it lucy watch out look out look out that's good, good. meals in boys all right Andrew, are you gonna get to fishing or what? How fast is this thing draining? Not, not quickly, I imagine, huh? Yeah, you can just scoop them into this thing and then we can just chuck them. How's that going? There it is. I love how we started with just like an in, infinite number. Yeah, our minnow farming abilities is not all that great. Like you would think, how hard is it to keep minnows alive? Apparently, it's really, diff it's, it's really difficult, apparently. We Boys. tested the water, we treated the water. It didn't matter, they're still dead. Well, we're gonna get the rest of this water pumped out. The rest of these, yeah. is that a good scoop? Tadpole. Was that a good swoop? You got a tadpole in there, huh? Yeah, a couple. Half of those are dead. Those are a good amount of dead ones in there, yeah. Well, we're gonna get them scooped out. You guys stay tuned. We have way more minnows than we thought, okay? We, listen, we're not that bad of minnow farmers, okay? All you haters out there. Look, I need to keep a minnow alive. Look, Rick, we kept hundreds of them alive. We just bought a lot, and that's just part of it. What's going on over there? The chub? They're all hiding underneath the pump. All right. So we got it all pumped out, for the most part. Look out. Really? So we've got a bunch of, already a bunch of minnows in the bucket, and a, what, two of our bluegills made it? Yeah. So got, that's what's alive for there, and then plus there's got another bluegill there, and all these minnows are some chubs. We found the water dog, okay? So they're, listen, we're not that bad at minnow farmers. We're just not great at it. So, all right, Banjo, how's your scooping abilities? Look out. You get him? Yeah, bluegill? I got him. Yeah, well, okay, I got him. all right, all right. Watch out, loose. I mean, not great, but getting them. It's easier when there's less water, huh? 
Yeah. See, it's cool to be able to see them, but it's yeah. like, so you guys have to let me know. I mean, we're not, not that I would ever probably do this ever again, but you know, is it better to keep like shallow water like this with the minnows? I assume more water, more volume to let them do their thing. And then, is there another bluegill? bluegill over here. Oh yeah, we got another bluegill in there. He made it. Or do you leave it shallow or it was a good idea to fill it up? I, give me some tips. Minnow farmers out there watching, if, if you have, if there are any of them, let me know what we did wrong, what we could do better next time. Look out. Yeah, oh, there, that's the old strat right there. Let him suck to it. And then another, another bluegill. Two. Sheesh. Look at that, oh yeah. They're gonna have a good time in the new pond. Well, unless the whole shallow water theory is is what they want, but, cause it's not shallow. It's like six, six, eight foot deep. Right now it's like five, but it will be eight foot. How's that going? They're staying away from me. He's gonna they say, know. grab, where's that big, grab the big net as a, as a diversion. It there it is. Really? Oh yeah, there's a chub in there. Is there? Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Really? Oh, gotcha. There it is, boys. Got your ass. Got your ass. He'll ambush. How'd that go? Did you get him? No. We got a few left. The full bucket of them, though. So, we'll see. We have a couple hundred? I think we got a couple hundred. I think probably pushing 500, I bet. There's a lot of them in there. The bottom of this thing was like black. It's full. Yeah, completely full. Jump out. jump out. That's a full bucket. Should we dump her in or what? Put it in there. Yeah, we can. They're all floating now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. They, they don't look good. We better hurry up. All right, these suckers are all dead. This is not. This did not go to plan. I, I really didn't think eight minutes sitting in a, a five-gallon bucket would be life-threatening, but I, I really think that's what happened here. How's that going? They'll make it. They're just a little in shock. They just right. got fake. All right, go ahead, Banjo. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a terrible idea. Oh, they're kicking. Are they yeah, kicking? Look, look, at, yeah, the kicking look at the pond though. Oh wow, that's not good. We only transported the live ones, by the way. How did they die that fast? How did they die that fast? I mean, that was like nine seconds. But they did that when we put them in our little pool. Did it? In shock. Are they in they're shock? Out. Think they're gonna figure it out? Get them. You ac acclimate it? Yep. Yeah, we didn't necessarily do that. That bluegill's he's still kicking. He's trying. Yeah, we didn't acclimate them. The water's not high enough for us to really get in there. Because right now, if you fall in, it'd be it'd be a tough way to get out, honestly. That ex like, we get the expert fired up, right? I feel like the birds are gonna love this. They're gonna be swooping down. Yeah, here. there's a good chance that the we got. I mean, they are. You're right. They are starting. I think they just kind of got knocked out. About ha about half of them. I I, I want to see Mr. Blue Mr. Bluegill still breathing. Not my best work. Okay, started with a thousand, got to about 500. Now we're probably down to 150. Maybe. But the pond is stocked. You can see what it looks like now. So whatever makes it, you know, obviously moving minnows around seven times is not ideal for minnows. We know that. We wanted to try to get the minnows to spawn in the pool and then they just started dying. So we're like, we better hurry up and build the hatchery. Will they be able to spawn in here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how shallow it has to be for them to spawn because there's no like flat lips or edges for them to spawn if that makes any sense. So there's a chance that like if we if we want minnows to spawn, we we're gonna have to build one that's really shallow or entry it because it has, to, yeah, you gotta have have some type of ridge yeah. for them, which is fine. Oh, is he? Is he? Oh, oh, he's, oh, oh, oh! Do do the dance. He's good. He's all right. He's, he's gone. We're learning. Okay, we are learning. So this could just be the grow pond, maybe not the hatchery pond. Meaning, like they won't actually hatch in here. Maybe we go build a small one or two there that are just really like a three footer that will stay shallow. They can spawn all the time as often as they want in like the in like the warmer months. And then once they spawn, we can dump them in here, feed the bass, feed the catfish, feed the bluegill, the crappie, whatever you do. Then once they're big enough, you go put them in the lake. That's that's really, I, I don't know. All I know is this looks really bad and then that the herons are, they're gonna have a heyday.